Hi, I'm Dr. Max here at Max Medical uh, Hair Robotic Hair Restoration Clinic. Today we do what we call the beard to beard hair transplant. And uh, you can use uh, facial hair for different purposes. For example, we can use facial hair for uh, scalp hair restoration in case there's not enough uh, donor area. But today is a little bit different. Uh, we use it uh, one part of uh, facial hair here to, uh, to, to adjust the shape of the beard in the facial area. So basically that means, you know, we're going to take um, hair from the beard from the lower part of the face uh, to be precise from the chin area. This is how it is outlined here. This is the area where we're going to be harvesting hair. And there's a little indentation in the facial area so we'll take hair follicles one by one and transfer them to this area those change the entire uh, shape of the ear once everything is growing um, what is <coughs> different with uh, facial uh, hair harvesting is that the ear direction is um, unlike the skull here, it is very so I have to constantly monitor the angles uh, how the hair exit uh, from um, from the skin adjust it to you know to get the best uh, possible yield here. And so far it's been going pretty good. I uh, estimate probably only about 300 grafts. Um, on the left side, we need a little bit more. As you can see, patient is very comfortable, sleeping most of the time. Um, we use a ring block to anesthetize, anesthetize the whole area here. So there's absolutely no uh, discomfort or no pain uh, the patient experience. Uh, here now in the middle of the facial hair restoration procedure. So uh, we have more enough uh, density in some of submandibular area that will uh, leave no uh, visual uh, evidence that anything was harvested. Uh, it was done with a small punch, uh, 0.9 millimeter, that allows sites to uh, heal quickly as well. And what we uh, used to implant for the direct graft implantation, uh, and we use those small implanters loaded with the follicular unit, one by one, allows me to blend nicely into the existing zones of the, the, of the hair, so uh, I can mimic the angles and the direction of the hair precisely to match the entire zone that is distributed here. So we pretty much finish with the right side. So one of the advantages of direct graft implantation of course, it's minimally invasive. It does require incisions to be uh, performed before the implantation. It allows me, as a hair transplant surgeon, to uh, participate in surgery at 100%. Fortunately, the standard uh, in hair industry is that most of the implantation is being done by hair transplant technicians. Uh, here at Max Medical, we decided that surgery needs to be for me, it needs to be more active, so we uh, routinely uh, implant using direct graft implantation. Uh, other advantages include uh, minimal uh, trauma to actual hair follicle because the loading process does not require any manipulation with that, and as a result, the survival rate is much higher as well. Uh, healing time. It's faster. If you have any questions regarding uh, beard restoration, uh, direct graft implantation, or any other procedure that we offer here at Max Medical, please don't hesitate to contact us at 954-945-909 or visit our website for, to get more information. Uh, easy to remember, remember care that comes.